Welcome to the Blue Ridge Parkway, 469 miles of America's favorite drive, stretching from the Great Smoky Mountains to Shenandoah National Park. The Blue Ridge Parkway is a 469 mile road connecting the Great Smoky National Park with Shenandoah National Park. Today, we're at the Blue Ridge Parkway Visitor Center, and that's at mile marker 384. We're taking that all the way to mile marker zero near the Shenandoah National Park. I kind of wish we were driving the entire Blue Ridge Parkway, but this is a good place to start as well. As you know, I love my visitor centers. Yes, you do. It's always nice to pick up a handy guide. Plus, we learned about some road closures on the Blue Ridge Parkway. The park ranger was nice enough to mark all the road closures for us and point out the uh, closed visitor centers. So we've got lots of good resources to get us started. Now we've given ourselves a few days to do the drive. We don't want to rush it, but before we get on the road, I've got to make some coffee. designers of the road wanted to give the people who are experiencing the park or the parkway no matter where you went some sort of vista or view or make it look like the rolling hills were almost endless and from what I've seen in this little bit so far that's pretty much true and you do get to experience most of it at a fairly sedate pace of 45 miles an hour for most of the drive there are a lot of places to check out along the Blue Ridge Parkway. I don't know if we're gonna film and show you all of them, but first stop for us is the Folk Art Center. I think we made it all of uh, less than a mile down the road. There's a lot to see. <laughs> no photography, so wah, wah. you'll have to come and check it out for yourself. Most, if not all of the stuff in there is actually for sale. It's like a giant uh, folk art gift store. Mm -hmm. Really, really cool handmade stuff. And they had a whole section dedicated to things made in the Appalachian Mountains. It's kind of impressive. So if you are driving by, check out the store. Now I did read that RVs are welcome on the Blue Ridge Parkway. I think they said the only real limitation are some of the tunnels can be a bit short, but you can always drop off of the parkway, go around the tunnel and then get back on if you did find one that was too short for your RV. So van life tip of the day, when emptying your toilet, don't lean over, look directly into it and then open up the valve. Because as I wasn't thinking, we're at elevation and the air pressure in there, I got a nice mist right into the face and all over my shirt and everything else. So stand back, release pressure and then go dump it. Your new shirt on yep wash my <laughs> face and hands and everything else so i'm good i'm uh, toilet free now
one thing I've noticed on our drive is every now and again you'll see a branch that's growing into the roadway or it's hanging down pretty far. And for a normal car, it wouldn't be a problem, but for a taller RV, you may need to go around it. You just gotta be careful and keep your eyes open going around the parkway. One of the stops that I really wanted to make on the Blue Ridge Parkway is Mount Mitchell because it is the highest point east of the Mississippi River. Phrase. The sun's going down. And we're getting fogged in. Yes. So we should probably start looking for a place to camp for the night. Well, the nice thing about having the mode is that we have a roof deck. <laughs> so we're on top of the roof deck and we have an amazing view into this valley behind us. And yes, we need to find a camping spot, but sites like these are worth pulling over taking your time and really enjoying the parkway. I think we're only gonna make like 50 miles today. <laughs> so far we've gone, I think 25. All right, we got groceries and a parking spot for the night. We went in, asked the Walmart manager if we could spend the night in a parking lot. They said yes. So this is where we're spending tonight. Tomorrow? earlier start so we can cover more miles and I've got dinner cooking it's all done let's eat we're having rice bowls for dinner it's a DIY make your own rice bowl this is gonna be a weird mixture of stuff don't judge me by what's in this bowl I have white rice, a can of sardines and olive oil, jalapenos, and soy sauce. Oh, and spaghetti sauce. Mm. That's good. Good morning, sunshine. Good morning. Somebody's still in bed. <laughs> Are you having an underwear day? <laughs> no. No, I just, I haven't gone out of bed yet. I'm enjoying sitting in bed this morning. Okay, well, I've got my coffee already. I'm going to enjoy that and then we can go to the Mineral Museum. Okay. We don't typically sleep at Walmarts these days, but this was a pretty good one. That was a nice one. Very quiet. Enjoyed it. Yeah, and we got to get some fuel. And if you're wondering, We've been getting about 11 miles per gallon on the Blue Ridge Parkway. Well, it's very mountainous. There are almost no straightaways, so it's all curves. I don't know what it is. Every time I go into a rock and mineral museum or place, I think of the movie Long Long Trailer. Apparently you married one. I'm a mineral. <laughs> All right, let's get some miles done. We're at the Museum of North Carolina Minerals Visitor Center, which is mile marker 330.9. And we have that many more to go till we get to the northern end. Let's see how far we get on day two of the Blue Ridge Parkway. Mm -hmm. Apple. Hold them 
off to the side. We're driving past Limville Falls because Joe already went a couple of days ago. It was gorgeous. I got some good video of it. So. It was a it was a strenuous hike though down to the bottom. We just made it 120 miles from where we started yesterday. We're making progress today. We are, but we're still not even halfway. We still have time. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing we're not uh, in a rush because there's so much to see and do along the parkway that if you're taking your time and you're enjoying it, you're going to need a lot of time. All right, we got a bit of a detour. about the grist mill that we passed about eight miles ago and apparently it is the most arguably the most picturesque destination on the Blue Ridge Parkway so we're gonna call an audible and try to find a campground <laughs> so we can spend the night and then drive back tomorrow to check out this awesome mill. I'm kind of happy about that because I think it would have been a little push to get the room so I'm good with it. <laughs> my fingers crossed hoping that the campground is not full. Oh it looks pretty open. Yeah. Yay! So we have to find a site that does not have a reservation. Considering I've only seen three campers so far I think we kind of have our pick of sites. Yeah. So I'll let you decide where you want to park. Okay um, there are some sites up there by the bathrooms. It's a little chilly. Since we're not going to the gym tonight, do you want to just shower in the van? I'm definitely going to have a quick rinse. I'm not going to wash my hair, but I will shower. Okay, I'll shower too then. Okay, do you want to do... turn the front seat around sure. before you come in? While you're doing that, I'm going to put our hot water on. Let's 
let's see. Come on in. I don't think we need to put this screen up tonight. No, we'll be There's good. nobody over there, right? No. Okay. Unless we have some creeper come through. <laughs> well, the hot water is on. Do you want to shower first? Do you want me to shower first? You can shower first. Okay. At least then I'll have someone to blame for all the water being gone. Hey, we have, what does that say? Uh, 63%. Okay, let's see. Did you notice if there was a water fill here? I did see something. I don't know what kind of fill it is. What kind of fill it is. Because if there is a water fill, then that means I can take a much longer <laughs> shower. I'm sure we can find water somewhere. Okay. There we go. And the shower is ready. Enjoy your shower. Thank you for putting up the shades. You're welcome. Now here's a tip. Don't turn your shower pressure, water pressure on all the way. Because it's really good. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> hot. You have to turn it down? Yeah. It's a little hot. All right, well, I'm going to step out of your shower now. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Got our bourbon. Cheers. Good night, everyone. We'll see you in the morning. It's 11 and we just got out of bed. Well, no, we've been up for a little bit, but it's been a slow morning because it was raining. We're enjoying the just slow getting started morning. It's always Whatever. nice. All right, well, we're off to the mill. Day three, Blue Ridge Parkway. Mm -hmm. Stuffed. That was a great call on breakfast. Yes. I will say the uh, biscuits and gravy, delicious, but your sweet potato pancake was probably the best I've ever had. Yes, and I have leftovers for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well let's go check out the mill and then we can get back on the road. <laughs>
the mill is definitely worth it. I'm very glad that we spent the night last night and drove back because I would have been pretty sad to miss this. Plus, the sweet potato pancakes, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> but that's the real reason she's so happy that we came back. is the one thing I don't have to worry about and I haven't had to worry about it in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I really enjoy not having hair for so long. Oh I feel you. I enjoy not having it at all. Look at that rainstorm rolling in. That is awesome. There have been a lot more deer I've noticed on the this side of the Blue Ridge Parkway. Yeah, they're all over the place. Either that or they hunkered down yesterday because of the storm and decided to come out today. Yeah, they've, they've been all over the road today. It's been fun watching their white tails bouncing around. mile marker zero. This is it. This is mile marker zero. Well that was anticlimactic. <laughs> There's no sign, no big like zero. Congratulations, you made it. Just uh <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not even. No acknowledgement. We did it. We did. 384 miles? Yeah. Yeah. 384. I'm, well I'm, worth it. I guess 384 because they're not telling us if we made it to zero. <laughs> we made it to zero. If you can't tell, I'm a little bitter about this. <laughs> Look, this sign says. You are here, north end of Blue Ridge Parkway. Okay. If you go on that road, you're in the Shenandoah National Park. Well, then I guess we made it. That is the end of this video. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to see more cool content, head on over to our website at wertherussos.com. And I guarantee you it's less anticlimactic than mile marker zero on the Blue Ridge Parkway. So that is it. Goodbye. See you next time. Okay, so I semi amend my previous clothes. We found this sign across the bridge entering the Blue Ridge Parkway. So it's not totally anticlimactic, but. You were, you were expecting a reward. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for driving the Blue Ridge Parkway. You're at mile marker zero, something. That would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is the end of the video. Goodbye.